All right, day five, uh, beautiful afternoon, a little chilly this morning. We had a good rain last night, and um, after a rain is a great time to get out and remove uh, weeds and invasives and things like that because the soil is loose and the plants pull out a lot easier. So today I've been working on this section along my stone wall driveway area that I put in about 15 years ago. And the um, what's happened is the, uh, the chain link fence is uh, it goes down to the ground and it provides a area where the invasives can be harbored. So for instance, right here, we have, um, this is a Norway maple. You can see how I've been trying to clip it back over the years. But now what I'm finally going to do is I'm gonna come in and just clip off the lower parts of the fence so that I can get at it. Only if you have a dog or something that you're worried about getting underneath the fence do you have to worry about that. And I think more often than not, fences should be left with a little gap at the bottom so that people can do maintenance and they don't harbor invasives. So these chain link fences are ubiquitous around New Haven um, and in people's backyards, they end up being the area where all the plant material ends up growing because people can't manage it through the chain link fence. So what I've done is I've cut that out and now I'll be able to cut that off and then eventually maybe get out the root you can see up here, I have a forsythia bush. And, uh, and for years, I've been trying to get this wisteria that's growing in it to, to find it and get it out. And I could always find it up top, but couldn't find it down below because the bark of the wisteria and the forsythia looks so similar. It's amazing. And so I finally found my nemesis. And here he is. I cut out the chain link fence around there and I'm gonna be able to get him out today too, which is great. So it's gonna save me work in the long run to doing a little bit of this work. And I'm also clearing out the other side because the other side, my neighbors have ivy that's been growing over there. And every year I have to come through and try and pull out the ivy that's coming through because I don't like the English ivy. And we also have all these Norway maples. So in here you can see there's another Norway that I've been clipping back year after year. And so I'm gonna, with all this extra time that we have, I'm tackling these tasks that nobody really wants to do. I spend a lot of time right around my house, but all those periphery areas of the yard is where even in my yard, the invasives have a party. So this year, with all the extra time, I'm getting out there and taking care of some of those so that they don't become a burden for my neighbors, but also for other parts of my yard. Hope you're all doing well, thanks.